Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Good All's Country Kitchen. I'm down here on Barstown Road in the heart of the Highlands neighborhood. I'm at Mid-City Mall and I'm at the Value Market. I'm going to be reviewing the best grocery store fried chicken in Louisville. I had a subscriber that reached out to me the other day. His name's Tyler Brown. He actually has his own YouTube channel, Word of Mouth Food Reviews. And he suggested to me that I should review the top fried chicken places in the grocery stores in Louisville. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend this entire week going from grocery to grocery, getting chicken dinners. I want to test the fried chicken and I want to get the dinners with the sides, preferably wedges, mac and cheese, and greens. We'll see how those stack up against each other. But before I get going, I need to let you know, stick around to the end of the video because I got important announcements to give. I'm going to be broadcasting live from Epcot and also doing a full review at the Food and Wine Festival. So if you're wondering about my Amish hat, for y'all that didn't see the Harper's Catfish and Things to Do in Scottsville, Kentucky video, check that out. This is compliments of Hey Beggar's Amish Grocery. They gave me a hat and some goodies to take home when I went in there the other day. So be sure and check that out. You don't want to miss that one. Also, if you like my content, smash that subscribe button and notification bell. That's a great way that you can support my channel. All right. So I'm going to start here at Value Market. I have sentimental attachment to this place because when we used to go to Melissa's grandmother, Mary Kenny's house on weekends, a lot of times we'd stop here and get fried chicken. And I remember it's pretty good because we used to go here a lot. All right, enough of the chin music, lip service, gum flapping, jaw jacking. Let's go on in here and get some chicken. All right, I'm not going to do a, like a full walkthrough of this grocery, but it is a major grocery chain here in Louisville. There's at least four locations. I know there's Mount Washington, Outer Loop, here in uh, the Highlands. And anyway, they're, like I said, they're known for their deli. You get fresh deli items. You see there are different kinds of salads, chicken salad, ham salad, all that good stuff. Actually, I love ham salad. If I wasn't getting this chicken dinner, I'd be getting me a ham salad sandwich. But anyway, you see they got a full operating kitchen there and of course the steam table with the freshly made fried chicken see, i got here right at 11 to where it's fresh sometimes you go to places you know it might be sitting around for a little while but that's why i'm timing and that's why i'm going to spend all week doing this because i want to hit all the places right at 11 o'clock to make sure it's fresh on top of the chicken, you can get like the stuffed bell pepper, Salisbury steak, looks like fried pork chop. All right, green beans. All right, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna go ahead and set up out in the parking lot and eat this. All right, I'm set up right here in front of the Value Mart. I'm getting some strange looks by the people working here because they have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, I got the dark meat value box with a, I guess it's got a thigh and a leg and wedges, mac and cheese, and potatoes and gravy. They didn't have any greens, so I'm just loading up on the starches today. I usually bring my table with me, but I don't feel like getting tablecloth and big folding table. I'm just gonna go with a little TV tray action. Gail Johnson and her ready silverware. Thank you. So, all right, let's just see what we got here. What are we working with? Okay. Fine leg wedges. How you doing? Some real creamy, cheesy looking mac and cheese there. 
and they didn't have gravy, but they, when I said I want mash and gravy, he got a little snippy with me. He says, where do you see gravy? I said, what's them Salisbury steaks swimming in over there? He says, oh, you got a good eye, don't you? I said, yep. Fat guy can spot some gravy real quick. Uh, <laughs> got a couple just did a, a big U-turn. Didn't want to be in the background here. All right. We'll start with the leg first. I will say the, the breading has a good seasoning to it. It's not over salty. I don't mind salty, but it seems like it's got a really good mix there. All right. Try these mashing, mashing gravy. That's actually pretty good. I'm sure the potatoes are instant, but that Salisbury steak gravy accentuates it perfectly. Save big at Blissful Relaxation with our package deals. We offer a wide variety of options. We even offer couples packages. Some of our most popular packages are a float and sauna package or our ultimate relaxation package, which includes one float, one sauna, and a 90 minute massage. Our couples packages include two floats and then your choice of a two person sauna, two person halo therapy session, two person cold plunge, or a two person fire and ice. Don't miss out on your chance to save 25% on all of our services and packages by using the promo code GOODALL. Offer is not valid on a la carte massages or memberships or packs. At Blissful Relaxation, we look forward to seeing you soon. Click the link in the description and don't miss out on these savings. They must have the instant kind of potatoes that has like the lumpy texture to it because they actually have a texture like they're real. All right, now to the mac and cheese. It's, it's, it'll do the job, but I'll tell you what can help it. You already know, amazing grace can help just about anything. Now let's try it. How y'all doing? Well, come on over and interrupt. I got a couple of people over here watching. Before they get over here, I'm going to get some of this grace. No. It'll be on uh, Saturday. Good All's Country Kitchen. Yeah. I promote family owned restaurants around Kentucky. But I got an idea today to showcase the best grocery store fried chicken in Louisville. So I'm going to spend all week going to all the major grocery stores, see who's got the best chicken. All right. Sounds like a good idea. What do you think so far? I like it. I've been getting value mark chicken for yeah. probably 30 years. It's, it's solid. Yeah, it's good. But I'm also going to be reviewing these wedges yeah. and stuff like that. Right. Which brings me to my next point. Y'all don't know nothing about that jalapeno ketchup. <laughs> so you said you're on YouTube, right? Yeah, Good Alls Country Kitchen. Yep. All right. Appreciate you hollering at me. You too. All right. They ain't stingy on the wedges. Look how big that is. Bill North turned me on to that uh, habanero Heinz ketchup. So I saw that jalapeno ketchup. I got to try that too. Pretty good. As far as a grocery store wedge, I don't know if I've had any better for real, but I've got a long ways to go this week. So it's been a long time since I've had grocery store chicken. So I might be surprised. <sighs> now, y'all know the thighs are my favorite. Got a nice looking breading on there, and I'm not even gonna put the grace on there yet, but you know it's coming. 
Mmm. Crunchy, juicy. This is a good start. All right. I want to finish up here. I don't want to spend too much time because I'm going to have several places in this video. So I don't want to take up too much time. I'm not going to show you me eating the whole thing. But my next stop is going to be Publix in Middletown. So stick around. Relax. This is probably going to be a long video. So pack you a lunch and a cold drink. Sit back and relax and pay attention. Mmm. I'm on my second stop of the best grocery store fried chicken and I'm coming to Publix today. As you all have probably seen, I've done a couple videos of Publix subs before. One of them was best bang for your buck sub in Louisville. You can refer to that one, but I've never had their fried chicken here. So this is going to be new and adventurous for me. Of course, they're known for all their deli items, but for me to go in here and not order a pub sub is going to take all the willpower and intestinal fortitude that I can muster up to not get that instead of the fried chicken. So anyway, I'm going to just try and look the other way and stay focused. Just tunnel vision on the chicken today. Hopefully they got some good sides. All right, let's go on in there and start smashing. Well, change of plans. The person up front, they called up several managers, went up the chain of command. And basically I was told that I cannot video anywhere in their store, nor show even the case with the chicken in it or anything like that. So I'm just decided that I guess I'll never know if Publix had good chicken or not. So we're gonna move on to the next stop. All right, let's try this again. I'm over here off Shovel Road, Middletown at the local Walmart. I'll tell you what, I'm sure gonna miss those pub subs though. But anyway, I've had fried chicken here before at Walmart. It's usually pretty solid. It's not long after lunchtime started, so it should be still pretty fresh. I'm gonna go get some, see what kind of sides I can get, wedges, come out here in the parking lot and eat it while it's fresh and hot. All right, so. Everybody already knows what Walmart grocery has to offer as far as the grocery products, but I'm getting into some of this fried chicken, as you know. And of course, there's the wedges. And I don't see greens, but I do see the fried chicken. Oh, mashed potatoes and white gravy. That's got my name written on it. Might get some baked beans. I don't know. We'll see. And I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to ask about that. All right. Before I get going, I got to show you this. You can get two pieces of chicken and a side for $3.97. I went ahead and got the extra side with the mashed potatoes and gravy. $4.00. 47 cents. You ain't gonna beat that nowhere. If this is even halfway decent, that might be the best deal in town. All right, here's what we're working with. A dark meat plate is a thigh and a leg, but they were out of legs, so I got two thighs. I can already tell by looking at that, that breading, it's good and crunchy. I'm just gonna go ahead and put grace on one of these. And, yeah, I don't know nothing about that jalapeno ketchup. I'm actually going to start off on this mashed potatoes and white gravy. Mmm. Mmm. Don't need salt, pepper, or nothing. Seasoned really good. A 
We'll sit down with a little diet. Ah, I'm trying one of these wedges with the jalapeno ketchup. That's pretty daggone good. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> and I'm not talking about just for the price. It ain't bad. I forgot to ask for a roll. That's the only thing this is missing. A good dinner roll. But I'm loving this mashed potatoes and white gravy. Mm. To me, that just tops it off. A perfect accompaniment with some fried chicken. Boy, it's going to be tough to judge at the end because I am going to tell you at the end which one had the best chicken, which one has the best sides, and maybe even which one's the best overall sides and chicken together. You might have noticed I didn't bring National Treasure with me on this one. He is a huge chicken connoisseur, but he's hard to please. He's grumpy and grouchy, and I don't feel like any complaining, so I'm flying solo today. Reminder... Stick around for the end of the video. Big announcements going live at Epcot. Need to listen for the details. This was really good. Pleasant surprise. My next stop tomorrow, I'm going to start off at Myers Grocery. I've never had the chicken at Myers, so this is going to be a new adventure for me on that one too. I'm over off Westport Road at the Springhurst Shopping Center and I'm at Myers Grocery. I'm going to check out their fried chicken. I saw that they had the wedges and mac and cheese in there. They have a full service deli, hot bar, meals ready to go, and they even have a dine-in section. So I'm going to go in there, sit back and relax and enjoy my food at the table. All right, enough of the gum flapping. Let's go on in and check it out. Okay, I'm sure everybody familiar with Myers. No, it's a full grocery. It's got everything. Big deli meat department. All kinds of selections. But the fried chicken, it's not like they dip it out like dinners, you know, with a chicken and two sides. Everything's a la carte. You know, you get your wedges separate, your mac and cheese. I think the smallest chicken plate you can get is four pieces which is fine with me because I'm sure I'll have no problem finishing those. And there's the dining section, which you'll be with me shortly. Getting myself situated. One little added bonus on this one is I got to buy my own dinner rolls. You can't beat the Hawaiian rolls. Don't get no better than that. Okay, looks like the four piece comes with a breast, a wing, thigh, and a leg. And these wedges seem like they're seasoned there. Got some seasoning on the outside. I don't know if that's Cajun seasoning or what. Chicken's got a nice looking breading. Good looking. Passes the look test, I'll tell you that. Whole wing, whole wing and a drumstick. It's got a good, nice breading on it. Mac and cheese, it looks good. We shall see. All right. Again, y'all don't know nothing about that jalapeno ketchup. And of course, you know I travel with Grace. All right. Wedge first. It 
solid wedge. All right. I guess I'm going to go with the drumstick first. It's got a thick breading on it, but it's seasoned really good. And I got the chicken, must have been fresh out of the fryer because it's still good and juicy and hot. All right. A little bite of that Hawaiian roll with it. Wash it down a little diet. Ah. So far, so good. All right. Here's that mac and cheese. I see the steam rolling off of it. Look at there. And for an ollie cart, item a dollar 78 i think that says dollar 78 you get a good little amount in there for a dollar 78 most of the time you go to a restaurant you get a side of anything it's three or four dollars that's that's pretty good mac and cheese i ain't gonna lie doesn't need any salt or pepper. Anyway, everything I got, everything Ollie Cart, the wedges, the side drink, the side rolls, and everything was fourteen fifty. Now, of course, two people could have split this easily because of the four pieces of chicken, big wedges, big mac and cheese. So, like I said, two people could easily eat, and you don't have, even have to get the rolls. That rolls were two bucks, so really, you could eat for twelve dollars. All right. Now, I'm gonna eat this whole wing, but you know I'm going to accentuate with grace. Victory. Man, nothing like an ice cold Diet Coke to wash it down with. I definitely highly recommend get some of this Heinz jalapeno ketchup. Bill North turned me on to this. Bill knows he's a he's a man after my own heart. Knows exactly what I like. Let me get into this breast. I'm going to go and bite into it. Naked. See how juicy it is before I accentuate it. Good white meat breast. I always say that I don't get breast because they're not juicy. But as far as breast goes, this is about as juicy as you, you're ever going to get. Not overcooked. Pretty solid. Good chicken, young lady. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I was hoping you'd like it. Yep. Now I'm going to accentuate with some of this grace. And I like your mac and cheese, too. Oh, good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mmm. More than oh, let me just go ahead and accentuate the mac and cheese now. You knew that was coming. Grace took that mac and cheese to another level. Flavor intoxication. Now I'm gonna get into my favorite part. I think this is a thigh. 
Thighs are definitely my favorite piece of chicken. Mmm. Cook perfect. Young lady, do y'all cook this in a pressure cooker? Uh, just a regular fryer. Oh, regular fryer? Okay. I'm the main cook uh, five days a week. Uh, Make sure we keep our oil uh, filtered and changed out quite often. I don't know if you can hear that. She says they use a regular fryer, but they keep their oil filtered and clean very often. Yes. So you can tell if you've got some chicken that's cooked in some good grease. It's real easy to tell when the grease is dirty because it smells. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I'm doing a video on best grocery fried chicken in Louisville. Oh, well, I hope you're up there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. All right. We'll see you at Kroger. I'm over here in Middletown, Shelbyville Road at the Eastgate Shopping Center, and I'm at the Middletown Kroger. Known for really good fried chicken and other hot deli items and everything else. So without further ado, let's go on in and see what we can get. All right, in Kroger, humongous deli department. You get sushi, all kinds of stuff in here. And then they have a dining section over at their Starbucks. But here's their hot table. See, they got different kinds of wings, wedges, of course, and baked chicken, chicken fingers, and then we go fried chicken. Not shown up here, but they also have mac and cheese. And what was that other side you said you had back here? Yeah. Mashed potatoes? Okay. All right, we're going to get to it in just a second. All right, so I got the two-piece meal, like I said. You get the two pieces, two sides, and a, a real authentic Hawaiian roll for $7. Went ahead and added a $2.50 Coke with tax, it was $10. Pretty good deal. Gail Johnson, thank you for the traveling silverware set. All right, I'm gonna try the mac and cheese first while my palate is totally cleansed. It's creamy style, but it's not it's not too creamy, like too drippy. Pretty good texture to it. All right, good looking wedges, seasoned. Got a little crunch to it. Of course, you know when you go to a grocery store and get chicken and wedges. It's not made to order, per order, so. It's good to go in a grocery and be able to get stuff that's not like dried out. So this is pretty good, and I'm actually here at noon. So it's not right at 11 when everything came out of the deep fryer. All right, now, let's try this chicken thigh. Two good looking thighs there. I like the looks of the breading. I already know it's gonna be good because I've been I've never had chicken at Kroger that was not fantastic. All right, here we go. That's very good. Kroger's chicken is probably as good or better than a lot of the restaurants you get chicken at around in Louisville. I can promise you that. Wash it down with a little diet. By the way, a fan of the show stopped me out there in the parking lot. Took a selfie with me. Andre, shout out to Andre. Appreciate you watching the show. 
Also a reminder, stick around for afterward. I've got announcements to make. I'm gonna do that out in the parking lot. A couple more shout outs, but some real important information about a YouTube Live I'm doing Monday at Epcot in Disney World. All right, now, time to bump everything up a notch. Accentuate with amazing grace. And we're going to accentuate this mac and cheese now. And just go ahead and get it all on there the way I like it. Now that's how you eat some mac and cheese right there, accentuated with grace. Mm. They have a nice little cafe in here. I've never eaten in here before. So it's pretty comfortable and cozy. And I'm back here in my little cozy corner to where nobody is in the background. Mm. Now let's get some of that jalapeno ketchup on there. Wash it down with a little Hawaiian roll. I don't know why it is that Hawaiian rolls go so good with fried chicken. Ah. I'm going to keep working on this. Wrap it up and then I'll meet you all in the parking lot. Give you my final thoughts. I told you I would tell you my best of each category at the end. So stay tuned for that. All right, so before I get to, you know, the judging of the chicken and things, let me just go ahead and do my shout outs real quick. I got Terry Alsup sent me a $25 check. She owns Terrific Ghoulish Custom Gifts in Berea, Kentucky. So check them out if you're in Berea. Scott Squire sent 20 and Jazer sent me another five. I appreciate y'all sending me the gifts. And also subscribe, smash the notification bell, and like button. All right, so this weekend, I'm gonna be getting into Universal Studios and then we're going to Disney. Two days from now, Monday, around six o'clock, I'm gonna do a live broadcast from Epcot and Disney World. It's gonna be around six. I'm gonna try and make it around six, but you know how it is when you're on vacation with a group of people. It's like herding cats. So just bear with me if it's not right at six, just be looking for it to come on sometime around there. Also, while I'm there doing the live broadcast, I'm also gonna be doing a full video of the food and wine festival there that's going on. And I'm gonna be uploading that video on Wednesday. So if you miss the live, you can get the full video on Wednesday. So. As far as like my favorite side item that I had, it was the Walmart mashed potatoes and white pepper gravy. That gravy was unbelievable and it's just a perfect accompaniment for a fried chicken dinner. Uh, Value Mart was pretty good. The Value Mart wedges were probably the best. They were for sure the biggest, they were huge. The chicken, I would place at the next best, but I gotta go ahead and give it to Kroger. The Kroger chicken was absolutely the best chicken. The other ones were great, but Kroger topped them all, okay? Now they say Publix would have been good. I don't know, I'll never know. So, but anyway, so I gotta make Kroger the best overall grocery store chicken in Louisville. And with that, Y'all don't know nothing about this Louisville grocery fried chicken. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country Kitchen.